assalamu alaikum in this video i am going to show you how we can correct the autocorrelation uh, issue in our model in the previous video i have shown you the detection method of autocorrelation but now in this video you can see that how we can fix this issue because it is a violation to regression assumption and it is very important to fix this issue as well because uh, if it is not fixed our uh, results will not be uh, a true picture of our model and moreover it uh, the error terms in our model will highly fluctuate and it uh, disturbs our model's result therefore it is very important to fix autocorrelation issue um, uh, let's start uh, with the same data set i have used in the previous video that is the example data set of sp500 and uh, the data is basically about the returns data and it is a time series data uh, in the previous video i have uh, stated that you can use the same commands for the panel regression as well because there is no uh, issue in uh, analyzing the autocorrelation issue in the panel regression as well panel data as well so the commands are same for both time time series and panel data uh, let's move on to uh, the first method that is the difference transformation method before proceeding to this method we firstly need to generate the time variable in whenever you are analyzing the autocorrelation either for detection either for co uh, correction or fixing the autocorrelation it is very important to generate the time variable and t set the time that is basically to set the time variable and then move on to the regression model uh, in my case the regression model is reg close is my dependent variable and volume is my independent variable uh, with a simple command i will show you that there exists autocorrelation in this model that is the durban watson test and for the interpretation for this is the closer the value of this d statistic towards 2 there is no autocorrelation but however in our case it is very far from 2 that means there exists autocorrelation in our data set let's move on to the first method before uh, uh, it is very important to predict the residuals as well for uh, analyzing the autocorrelation because we are analyzing the errors uh, in autocorrelation and in order to fix autocorrelation it is very important to predict the error term and uh, the command is predict u hat comma result you can use r or you can reset here you can see that residuals have been generated next is to test line the u hat the ts line this is basically providing you the graphical representation as i have shown you in the previous video as well it is this command is only for time series this is only the particular command which is used for the time series data uh, however um, rest of the commands can be used for uh, panel regression as well panel data as well uh, in this video you can see the graphical representation of time series data and the uh, 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 one more command I have used in the previous video that it will create a line over here to show you the negative and positive data uh, for this graphical representation. I am skipping this part because I have done in the previous video. Uh, let's move to the first method of correcting the autocorrelation issue that is the difference transformation method difference transformation method is basically you need to create a different transformed variable and for this the command is gen rename your variable i am renaming it as d close is equals to you need to add a d dot and then select your desired variable d dot close will generate a difference transformed variable of your dependent variable here you can see over here that it created a new variable that is a difference transformed variable and in the variable view you can also see that this variable have been generated now what you need to do is you need to uh, process the regression with this newly generated variable and then test the um, autocorrelation issue from any of the method 
I am using the E stat D Watson and you can see that now the value is more closer to 2 that means to some extent we have removed our autocorrelation issue and it can be removed to this extent by this formula by this command right so the value is like 1.9 which is far which is very close to 2 that means we are uh, we are able to remove the autocorrelation with this method as well let's move on to the next method that is uh, price winston command for this you simply need to process your original regression and you can see that i am again processing the durbin watson to show you that there exists the autocorrelation issue and in price winston command there is nothing you need to do it's just a single command that is you need to uh, write p r a i s instead of reg and in the end you need to add comma c o r c here you can see that uh, this command provides the regression results and the transformed Durban Watson statistics as well that is 1.845 that means we uh, from this method you can uh, automatically remove the uh, autocorrelation from the data and this is this providing you that the value is more closer to 2 the previous one is 0.138 however the transformed one is 1.84 that means it completely transformed the autocorrelation issue uh, so this command is very helpful let's move on to another command that is newy west reverse standard errors this is also a single command you can use uh, uh, the command for this is n e w e y new e and then uh, select your dependent and independent variable select comma and you can analyze it for any lag i am uh, analyzing it with lag one right now and uh, you can see that uh, the robust standard errors have been generated with this command you cannot use uh, uh, any of the test of autocorrelation after this command because it will show you the not valid command because this is the robust regression command and you cannot process any other command any other test after this test however i can process the simple regression to show you the difference between these two results and you can see that the significance have been changed the uh, lags have been gen uh, generated for this command the coefficient the p value is now also being uh, the p value basically have been um, shifted and have been um, uh, re uh, re standardized with this robust regression standard errors for new e west command you can use for lag 2 as well and it will again change the p value of the model and the significance as well so these were three three methods how you can fix the autocorrelation method hope you uh, like this video uh, because this video is providing you a full fledged uh, fixing method methods of autocorrelation uh, in this video i have used the three methods of removing the autocorrelation from the model hope you like the video thank you and allah hafiz